Hello everyone, this is What's Up. Uh, this is pulsing a flyback transformer coil for, uh, you know, a few months after. Uh, well, actually. Uh, so I have a new setup here. I got a new capacitor, high voltage, simplifies matters. I got a spark gap. Uh, probably can't see it because of my flash here. Uh, I have some new diodes. The diodes are very huge. They're 3 amp, uh, 20k. Uh, flyback transformer. And there's my red primary there with two layers. It's actually two primaries. Uh, there's the high voltage coil here. Okay, with all these other outlets coming out on this on this thing uh, that are all individual they're all on the same inner coil here and then the high voltage comes out here the negative and the high voltage positive comes out here going to the going to the diode so now it's running uh, I'm running this with uh, with my chopper circuit there, the uh, flyback chopper thing that I had done, the second one. And uh, so here you have uh, your two transistors, a few diodes, resistors, there's a little inductor here and it takes, uh, splits the uh, positive coming in from my batteries which are right there. Those are two in series, so I got 24 volts, 12 amps. Uh, so, this circuit calls for a capacitor, okay, that uh, goes uh, across the uh, two primaries here. So, uh, one thing, I, I, I'm running this as it is and nothing's happening on my output. No light bulb running or anything like that. This here is Verpi's uh, circuit. And uh, what I found was, as soon as I took this capacitor off, under these conditions, my bulb starts to light over there, but I'm getting sparks here. This is not good at all. Right there, right there. I'm gonna turn this off. Really bad. So, something has caused that light bulb to light up and caused my flyback as soon as I took that main capacitor off. Uh, looks like uh, there's something to look into here because it's giving me that effect under that condition so let's look into that a little more thanks and uh, see you guys soon